Hey everyone, so I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to build a track in Velocidrone, which is an FPV flight sim for race quads. So you open up your software, you jump in the track editor. Uh, you probably won't have any of these because these are ones I've made. So you create a new track. You select the scene that you want to build in. I'm just going to do the empty day scene. So you get in here, first thing I want to show you guys is the little help icon up here. So you can get familiar with the hotkeys that you're going to need to uh, manipulate things inside here, as well as how you um, can move around inside the, the flight sim track editor. So keep this handy, it's really helpful. Um, I'll just note that we're going to be using WE. R and F the most right now. So just to move, rotate, scale, and then focus on things. All right, so let me fit this. Okay, so the first thing, um, Velocidrome is kind of nice. It, it lets you know when you have everything you need to do to uh, run a map. By that, I mean if you click Save, you're missing things it gives you an error this one is for a start grid um, so you have to have one and only one of those placed and a start grid is under the barriers tab here so you click on that and click anywhere in your map that you want to put it I'm gonna click on the start barrier and hit F to zoom in on it okay so there's your start pad so you can try to click save again, it's going to give you another error because you need at least two gates. So let's go ahead and place a couple gates in here. Um, I'll grab one of these, place him here, then we'll grab another one, place it out here. Okay, a couple things you should know about the, the gates is the, the direction that you're having to fly through them. There's a couple indicators to know. There's little arrows that point which way you're flying through. And also this little crash pad here. So after you fly through a gate or crash through, um, this is where you reset at. So you reset beyond the gate, which makes sense because you wouldn't want to keep having to fly in front of it. So there's a couple... Uh, I guess easy ways to figure out which direction you have to fly through this gate with. Because if you go and select the gate and then you hit E, which is your rotate tool, you can go and rotate this about like 180 degrees or really any direction, but we'll say 180 for now. And in order to complete this gate, you actually have to fly from the left side. We'll zoom over here. So you actually have to go from left to right now. So keep that in mind. It's obviously really critical in how you're going to be setting up your maps. Okay, so now that we have our two gates and our start pad, we're going to be able to save this. Then you just enter your track name, test. Inactivity alarm. Transmitters yelling at me. Okay, so we've officially saved our first track. Um, it's really simple just to get started. You can jump around in here, um, add some barriers, um, throw some cones on things. So you can kind of... Uh, so I'm going to select the cones I want. Hit W, and W is your move tool. So then you can... You basically just go and build it and move things around. I'm going to hit this one here okay so that I've now placed that over here I'm gonna try to line it up with that existing cone back there cool so there's that guy so yeah it's really easy you just go in and place things the the one, I don't know if it's tricky, but it's uh, it's not really intuitive, is the invisible gates. 
So I'm going to run you through what an invisible gate is. Let's say you have a, let's put a gold post out here in the middle. And you want to make this gold post a gate. So by flying, you know, underneath it one direction and then over it. After, so let's say we, we fly through, fly through the first gate. You're required to fly underneath the goal post, circle around the flag, and then fly overneath the goal post. And then again, you're going to fly through here to finish it. And that's going to be, we'll call it your lab. So a goal post is really just your barrier. What you actually have to set up is a gate to go through. So you have to click on invisible gate, click on your map, and here is your representative gate. So you actually have to hit R, which is your scale tool, and then you'll go and stretch this around in order to fit where you need it to. And then you move things around accordingly until you line up your gate where you want it to work out. So keep in mind though that you're going to want to make sure your crash pad or your reset pad is above the ground like it is here. If it goes below the ground, you're going to just keep glitching out and it's going to it's going to be bad if you ever crash over here and you end up resetting right there. So um, so that's really all about invisible gates. You'll see again that the crash pad is on the far side, so I'm flying in this view from right to left. And then let's go ahead and put another invisible gate. I want this one on top. Now I'm going to swing it around because I want to fly the other direction through the gate. It doesn't have to be exact. I'm going to fit up on there. Okay, that's, yeah, so I need to set that back a little bit. Scale it with the R key to bring up the hot key. You can get really particular with it if you want. It's not really too critical though. So I'm just filling the the gate void here. Okay, so that's good enough. We'll probably fix that a little bit. There, that's fine. Okay, so now we have two invisible gates. So we're going to select this. This is our gate one. Okay, then we want this one down here to be our gate two. So we're going to change our gate order. This is now two. We're going to make this flag our gate 3, which it already is. That's good. And we're going to make... I'm trying to select that gate. That's our gate 4, so that's good. And then we need one more gate over here to be our gate 5. Again, another invisible gate. We'll rotate this guy around. Okay, and then scale them up, nice and tall. Again, keep in mind where your reset pad is, and make it wide. Okay, and kind of insert it there. So now, and this is already set as gate five. So now we have a full, full track and we can now fly this. So I'm gonna go ahead and resave it, and I'm gonna overwrite it, say yes. We go home. Single player, pick your model. Okay, you have to go to the scene that you edited in, which this is the empty day scene, and we created our test three. So I'm going to load this one up. Ready to race. I think my controller reset itself. 
let me yep there we go go back in here ready to race okay so now we're in our map I'm gonna go ahead and hit my reset switch so we start on the landing pad and then I'll go ahead and start the race so you see the first gate is here second gate third gate fourth gate left time 7.55 and so that's how you really just go about setting up your own tracks. It's a great way to uh, practice. So you can see I didn't hit that gate low enough. Lap time 14.46. Lap time 6.07. So there you go. That's a... Uh, the basics of creating your own map and it's a great way to go and practice um, different you know maneuvers or tricks whatever you're trying to really accomplish if you're trying to practice weaving or maybe you're gonna do some some orbits around an object or uh, whatever you want to do you know power looping some some small things so it's a good way to go and build a track and then go and practice and hone in whatever skill you're trying to develop. So that's it. Hope this helps. Go check out Velocidrone's YouTube page for a lot more detail and in-depth um, how-to guides on their track editors. They're really helpful. Thanks, guys.